Okay, this is the 7.1 part two notes. Okay, this is the second part. The first part we talked about graphing and finding the y-intercept and growth and decay. And now we're actually going to talk about exponential growth and decay in terms of interest rates and money and all those types of things. So one of the things that's going to be really important for you guys is I have over here on the right side, the information that's over here on the right side, you want to make sure you write that down in your notes uh, so that you have this. So at any time, remember, you can pause this video to do so. Okay. So uh, I'm going to change the, the formula a little bit from what they have in your notes. And I've got two formulas here. And you'll see here this information as I zoom in on it. Okay. Uh, we got two formulas. You have a formula for decay. In other words, when things are decreasing. And a formula for growth. Essentially, guys, these things are the exact same except one is addition and one is subtraction. Decay is subtraction and growth is addition. It's pretty simple. Okay, so what do all these things discuss? Well, this is the amount after T years is equal to the P, which stands for the principal, times 1 plus R, which is the rate, divided by N, which is the number of times the interest occurs. So as you can see down here in the red list right here, this red list is what N is going to represent. So I could say compounded annually. That means one time per year. That means your N is going to be one. Or I could say semi-annually. It's compounded semi-annually. That means it's going to come, it's going to gain interest two times in a year. So then your N would be two. So forth and so on. It could go anywhere all the way up to daily. I could compound daily, which means your N would be 365. That means your interest would happen every single day. Okay. <clears throat> then you're going to take that times to the n times t power. Well, t stands for the time in years. All right. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you just some scenarios. I'm going to give you, you know, I can give you an amount of money, and I want to know with this interest rate after so many years, how much am I going to make? Okay. So using these formulas are going to be the key into understanding and knowing how to do the story problems. All right, so let's take a look at this first story problem. You've invested $1,000 in a savings account at the end of the sixth grade. The account pays 5% annual interest. How much money will, the, will be in the account after six years? Okay, so one of the things that we want to do is we want to write down what we know. We know this is our formula. Okay. So, we need to figure out the principal, the amount of money we started with. Well, in this case, the $1,000 is what I started with. That is going to be P. Okay. The account pays 5% annual interest. Well, this 5% is going to be my R. That's my rate. Now, remember, the rate you always have to convert to a decimal. So the rate's not going to be 5, it's going to be 0 0.05. I'm going to move that decimal two places to the left on that number every time. So anytime I have 5%, the decimal is right here. I move it one, two spots to the left. So the R is going to be 0 0.05. This here, annual interest, says it's going to happen one time. That's my N. My N is going to be 1. It's only going to happen one time a year. Then, how much money will be in the account after six years? Six years, that's my T. Okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug all of these in. My amount that I have after six years is going to be, my principal is $1,000, parentheses, 1 plus my rate is 0 0.05. Divide that by the number of times per year it's going to gain interest, and that's 1. All to the 1 times my t, in this case, is 6th power. Okay. Now, again, this is all going to be predicated on your calculator and knowing and understanding how to punch this in the calculator. You're going to punch this into the calculator if you have a large calculator, just the way it looks. Okay. So you're going to type in 1,000 and then parentheses 1 plus 0 0.05 divided by 1, then close the parentheses, then hit the caret key, the little up arrow again, and then 
If you're on the big calculator, you can just type 1 times 6. If you're on a small calculator, the little TI-30s, you want to make sure that you put this 1 plus 1 times 6 in parentheses. Otherwise, it's not going to calculate it correctly. That's, again, if you're on the small calculator. When you type that answer in, you should get the amount after 6 years is going to be 1340 point zero nine five six four one now we're talking about money so because we're talking about money we're going to always round to the second decimal place so this is going to be thirteen hundred and forty dollars and ten cents so essentially in six years you earned three hundred and forty dollars and ten cents okay so that's an example of one. That's an example of one with an annual interest rate. All right. So go to the next page. And the third page you should have here of your notes uh, as you're loading these. And I'm going to go to this example now. Again, I've got the example up there. All right. We're going to take a look at problem number one. And I'm going to do... I'm going to do problem number one, but I'm going to cross out the one year. I'm not going to do this one. So I'm going to do it for six months, and I'm going to do it for five years. So problem number one, it says if you deposit $500 in an account that pays 1.2% interest, compounded monthly, how much is in the account after six months? Okay, so again, the very first thing I got to identify, what's my information? Well, I know $500. $500, that's the principal. That's the amount that I started with. The rate, the interest rate, this guy right here, that's my R. Now, if I make that a decimal, remember, two spots to the left, so it's going to be 0 0.012. It says compounded monthly. This guy right here is going to be my N. Monthly is 12. Okay. And then this guy for the first part is going to be my T. Six months. Remember, though, T is time in years. So it's not going to be six. Six months is how much of a year? Well, that is half. So this is going to be 0.5. So again, using the formula, the amount is the principal times 1 plus R over N to the N times T power. I know my principal is $500. Parentheses 1 plus my rate is 0 0.012. Divided by N is 12. I found that earlier. N is 12. And then we're going to take that to the 12 times 0.5 power. And again, on my calculator, I'm going to type in 500 parentheses 1 plus 0 0.012. Then hit the divided key, 12. Close the parentheses. Then hit the caret key. And again, if you're on the small calculators, you're going to hit parentheses, 12 times 0.5. If you're on the larger calculators, you're going to hit 12 times 0.5 power. And the number you come up with, the amount after six months is going to be $503.00 and one cent okay so it gives you an idea of how this works now i want to find the same problem the same scenario but i want to know this time what it's going to be if the amount is five years so i'm going to change my t from 0.5 to 5. essentially it's the same problem so the amount is going to be my 500 dollars i started with 1 plus my rate is 0 0.012. We're still going to compound it monthly, so that's 12. And this time, it's going to be to the 12 times 5 power. So, again, on the calculator, 500 parentheses, 1 plus 0 0.012 divided by 12. Close the parentheses. Hit the caret key. Then it's going to be 12 times five power and this number the amount after five years is going to be 
$530.90. Okay. All right, so I got one more problem I want to go through, and I want to look at problem number um, problem number three. Okay, so problem number three, uh, it says here if you if you deposit five dollars into an account that pays twenty seven percent interest, compounded weekly, how much is in the account after twelve years? All right, so again, the very first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to identify my pieces. I'm depositing $5. That's my principal. That's the amount I start with. My interest rate, 27%. That's R. It's going to be 0.27. Compounded weekly, this is N. That's going to be 12. Or excuse me, not 12. That's going to be 52. Okay, compounded weekly. How much is in the account? After 12 years, that's going to be my time. Okay, so again, the, the biggest part is identifying the pieces that you have. So the amount is going to be $5 times 1 plus. Now, again, you're depositing it into an account with 27% interest. It's going to gain it. And, and eventually, as we go through, I'll give you more examples of one where you see decay. Majority of your examples you're going to see are, are growth, though. Okay, so my rate is 0.27 over top the number of times per year, 52, to the 52 times 12 power. So again, on the calculator, five parentheses, one plus 0.27 divided by 52, close the parentheses, hit the caret key, 52 times 12 power. And then I hit enter, and you should get the amount after 12 years is $126.60. So you made $121.60 in six years, or excuse me, in 12 years, not six. Okay, so this should help you be able to complete part two of section 7.1.